Many boys and girls who grew up on Florida's coast sailed in boats like these. During the annual Country Jubilee at Heritage Village, those once young sailors recalled just how easy it used to be to get out on the water. One of the first boats I built was a Optimus Pram. I was 12 to 13 years old at the time and my father helped me with it because I wanted to get out and go sailing. The Optimus Pram is one of several boats designed by famed shipbuilder Clark Mills. A collection of boats dating from the 1940s to the 1960s are on display at the new McKay Creek Boat Shop, which is modeled after Mills' own former shop. This boat shop is fairly new and it has been uh, put together by a lot of volunteers who care deeply about our boating history here in Pinellas County and in Tampa Bay. It may surprise people to learn that many years ago people traveled from Pinellas County over to Hillsborough and Tampa by water using boats and ferries and I don't know why we're not doing that today because it's such a part of our rich history here. The boat shop was built with community donations and volunteer labor. Groups like the Pinellas County Historical Society and the Clearwater Yacht Club assembled a team of contractors, architects, and local shipbuilders to complete the multi-year project. Nearly everyone involved had some kind of personal connection to Pinellas County's boating history. For a lot of us that grew up here and over time, obviously Pinellas County's changed a great, great deal. Uh, change is inevitable, it always does, it does happen. Um, used to be it was easy, you go down and get on the boat, and go out in the water, catch a fish, come back and, and uh, now you wait for two hours at the boat ramp to get in out of the water. Clark Mills built the racing boat Honey, which Gene Fleming's uncle, Francis Seavey, sailed to championship fame. His family donated Honey to Heritage Village and helped start the boat shop project to remind people that uh, what an integral part of uh, Pinellas County history, not just boat building, but, but waterfront activities, I think is incredibly important for people to remember going forward because Pinellas County is only going to get more urban, our world's only going to get more complicated and fast paced. So it's a good place to come back and, and uh, relax and, and think back on how it used to be. The McKay Creek Boat Shop will also be a place where today's shipbuilders pass the craft to the next generation. It's a very simple boat. It can be built with like basically three sheets of plywood, um, the two quarter inch sheets, and, uh, and, and one three quarter inch sheet, and you can build the entire boat. Especially uh, on the younger kids that's uh, 10, 12 years old with the Optimus Prams, uh, you could still, be, if, if a father son got a set of plans, they could still build one. I would, I'm shooting from the hip, maybe $150. Young people who visit may be inspired to carry on that tradition themselves and again take to the water in their own sailboats. I'm Josh Boatwright, Inside Pinellas.